everybody, it's Emily from Arc Schooling, and today I'm going to do a little bit of a preview of what you'll get with Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire unit study. I finally finished it. It is published, and I thought it'd be fun to just do a little vi video about the unit. So obviously, if you're not familiar with my unit studies, I write units on a variety of topics. They can be about science, history, um, literature, obviously, and I have a series for the Harry Potter books. And I just finished writing Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire unit, and I am so excited about it. This is one of my favorites in the series. Um, I feel like this is like the transition book, if you will. Um, Harry is really becoming more of a teenager at this point in the stories, and the writing reflects that. It reflects the growing audience. I mean, if you were 11 or 12 and you started the series, and each book came out every year or so, so by the time you get into this book, you'd be a little more mature, and it's definitely a bit darker than the first three books. So keep that in mind when you are deciding if your child is ready for this unit. As with all the other units, I, it's literature based and I give discussions based on the readings. I give you vocabulary words to, to use with the readings, um, activities tie in with what you're reading about. And for example, there's an activity to be an activist because Hermione has this whole mission in this book that she's going to fight for the rights of the, the house elves, which I just love. That made me love Hermione so much. <laughs> so yeah, make your own version of Spew. You're going to continue projects you started in the other units, so there's going to be more magical terms and spells. You're going to have magical devices guide continue. You're going to continue your magical creatures, um, your magical places guide. All those things are going to continue through this one. Another thing I do with each of my Harry Potter units is I include a Hogwarts style course. So and this year, I decided to take on Transfiguration, which at the time I thought, sure, I can do that. And then it just turned into this long slog of what am I going to do? How am I going to make Transfiguration a muggle course? So after months of thinking on this, I finally came up with um, what I would do for it. So I'm just going to show you the books you're going to be reading. I have... States of Matter with Max Axiom. This is a graphic novelization, comic booky kind of, it's just really fun. And there's a lot of great information about the four states of matter. And I'm pairing that with um, changing matter, understanding physical and chemical changes. And obviously for part of the Transfiguration Unit, you're going to learn about the states of matter and chemical reactions and changes. And then I've got Basher Physics, which I just love the series as a whole. These books are fun, and they're bright and colorful, and they're, they give a lot of information and snippets in small bites. So you learn a lot of things, but it's not really dense material. And I just think these are fun. So you're going to be learning basic physics and basic chemistry kind of combined with this. And one of the projects is that you're going to make your own like vocabulary trading cards in, in the same style as the Basher book, how they give you a cool picture of the term and then the information about it. So you're going to be making some of those. You're going to do some science experiments and projects. And we're going to end the unit with Transformed. How Everyday Things Are Made by Bill Slavitt. I really like this book. My, and this book is fun. It's anything from cola, I don't know if you can see the pictures very well, to aluminum foil, surfboards, um, running shoes, jeans, milk, ice cream, like all kinds of different things are made. And you're going to wrap up the unit. They're going to build their own Rube Goldberg machine, so that's really fun. You're going to transform everyday items into something new. So I think that's super fun. I'm, I'm very excited for this unit to go out into the world. I hope you guys enjoy it as much as I enjoyed writing it. I had a blast. I'm going to leave all the information about how to get the Harry Potter unit in the, the description box down below. And I will see you guys in my next video. Happy reading. Bye.